Aren't We Lucky? We are back with the amazing Carrie Washington. She truly does it all. Actor, producer, director, <laughs> activist, mom of three. And Carrie has a new show on Hulu. It's called Unprisoned. She plays a therapist and a single mom whose life gets more complicated when her father gets out of prison and moves in. But what my daughter doesn't know is that I'm out for good this time. And you're going <laughs> you to see for your last. I have heard this before. In 1986, 1992, 1998, actually December of 97, and then most famously in 2005. <laughs> Carrie, good morning. Good morning. You know, for a show about somebody who's getting out of prison and moving in with his daughter, it, it's drama, but there, it does have those light moments. It You're does. kind of threading that needle. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's a true dramedy. Yeah. Um, I love it so much. And, you know, the show is inspired by a real person, Tracy McMillan, and her father, who was in and out of prison her whole life. I know she's a regular on today. Yes. Um, and so they are funny. Like, Tracy is hysterical. Her dad was so charming and wonderful and lovely. She always said, when people met him, they could never believe that he had been in and out of prison her whole life. So a lot of the humor on the show comes from how wonderful they really are. And it's a nice way to look at some of these themes, um, forgiveness, reconciliation, second chances, redemption. Yeah. And this is an area, I mean, you, I don't can't think of another show that's really dealing with this, somebody no, coming from I previously being incarcerated mm -hmm. and then trying to come back to the society. world. Yes. yes. We do a lot of shows about going into prison. There's been a lot of shows about being in prison. Yeah. But to have a show that it's about what it's like to be a formerly incarcerated person and what it's like to love yes. a formerly incarcerated person as they try to re-enter society. It's so important. I wrote down one of your quotes about it because it says, I think you said this, we try to portray a relationship that's immensely close but where you don't know each other that well. Yeah. How interesting. It's really interesting and really wonderful to get to tell the story. You know, there are 80 million Americans walking around with criminal records and so to tell a story that's about so many of us, each of those 80 million Americans has a circle of people around them that loves them and that is trying to help them be part of society after that trauma. So it's a really, I think, fun show and wonderful show, but also thought-provoking and poignant. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a, it, it also is a good show. It's so fun. <laughs> can, the show's got to be good. So, We're happy and to Delroy learn. And Delroy Lindo is amazing. I love him. He's so charming, so funny, so wonderful. Now, we got to talk about a couple things in your life. First okay. of all, you are writing a memoir. I am. I mean, ah! that is a big deal. <laughs> it is what a made big... you ready to tell your story and how did you do it? <laughs> um, I think when Scandal was coming to an end, it really was an opportunity for me to start to do more thinking about myself and learn more about myself. And so a lot of it is me kind of sharing that journey. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I won't because I'm hoping you'll come back and tell me about the okay. memoir right here. Thanks but I mean, for the official invitation. Yes, exactly. Always. Done. Yes. But I mean, is it one of those things where you're like, looking at old journals? Are you looking at old pictures? Is it like a personal memoir? Is it about how I got here? Yeah, it's it's kind of about new information that I learned about myself and my family mm. and trying to integrate that information. Well, let's talk about um, your Instagram. Because yes. for Black History Month, you did yeah. the coolest thing. And by the way, this was not like, this looked like it took a lot of effort. <laughs> you for, did, portrayed a series of, of women. famous black mm -hmm. female figures in history. Here yeah. you are, Rosa Parks. I mean, you you did um, Grace Jones. You yes. did, what are some of the, the names? We uh, did, um, oh I mean, so many. They were, were really, Lee really Jemison? fun. Yes, yes. Lee Jemison, Pam Greer. I mean, just we. We had a blast trying to do women from different periods. In fact, um, one of the women that we did was one of the members of the 6888, which was the only all-black, all-female battalion to fight in Europe in World War II. Wow. And after we did that, Tyler Perry called me and said, I have a movie about the 6888. You're kidding. You have to come be in it. I was already sending it to you. Um, so it's really exciting. We've been filming that this year, and it'll be out, I think, early next year. I'm not sure exactly. But so exciting to get to kind of extend that work. Well, the images are really phenomenal and oh, talk about you. using social media for good oh so fun well i have an incredible hair and makeup people yeah. that i work with that help and we have a good time that is really cool okay let's talk also about the dress that you got to wear you <laughs> wore whitney houston's dress I did. Tell me, so how did that all come about? So the designer, Mark Bauer, had it in his archives. And I think it's always really fun to go to archives, you know, to not always have to wear something new. Kate Blanchett is like the queen of wearing archival dresses. Oh, how cool. And so I loved the idea of getting to kind of resurrect one of her gowns. Yeah. And I, I wasn't sure when would be the appropriate moment for something like that, but it was a beautiful award ceremony all about black excellence. And I thought, if you're going to honor black excellence, Whitney is the way to go. Yeah. It was I, so fun. Oh. It was such a 
mean, I'm such a huge fan of hers. Well, you wore it well. Thank you. Okay, my last item, um, I told you I have like a whole long list. Is <laughs> I never knew that you and Gwyneth Paltrow went to the same high school. We did. Now, were you classmates? Or no. Not, so, not at the same time? No. We, in fact, we did one production together <laughs> because she was a senior when I was in middle school. And um, But the middle school girls were allowed to audition to play the fairies in Midsummer Night's Dream. So oh. she was Queen Titania. Do you remember I, her? I like, totally you... remember her. And okay. she, I, would, I had to audition for her also for the a cappella group because right before she graduated, she got to kind of decide who were going to be the freshman oh members gosh. of a cappella group. So, yeah. What kind of girl were you in high school? Um, you can read about it in the memoir. Oh, my gosh. Okay, nice tease. Well, is that a yes? You're coming back? Yes. All right, Carrie, thank you so <laughs> thank much. Congrats you. on everything. The thank new show you. is called Unprisoned. You can catch it on Hulu starting tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.